as you can see this strange looking creature coming out the forest in his natural habitat <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, Blot Outdoor Show, Bonnie Lads is back, me and the little man Dingo, oh, yes. two rides little Mick, today we're going for a wild camp on Shafto Crags, which is in the beautiful county of Northumberland, look at this fantastic Northumbria countryside. Right Mick, we've got to get past these cows. Terrify them, aren't you? <laughs> I'll bring you back guys when we get past these beasts.
Cheers, yeah. man, Dingo. Yeah. Cheers, Schmick. Yeah. So we're just sitting chilling here. There's a lad and lass there practicing the rock climbing, so we'll sit, we'll have a can. It's only early, what time is it, Mick? About half six? Like it's only about six o'clock or half six, something like that. So we've got loads of time. Might as well have a can or two. And then we'll get the tent up. Oh, you know what I'm talking about, banding goes. Better believe it. <laughs> right. So guys, I think this is where I'm going to sleep tonight, under there. That's class that like. I'm going to set the mix tent up, just there, there's a nice flat spot. And that, it's just going to be slept in, hasn't it? I reckon that's been there a few years. Mandingos. Look at this man. Absolutely fantastic. The Lake District will be absolutely chock a block now with the weather being so nice. So me and the little schmickeroo have came up Northumberland and that young lad and lass that's just left them's the first people we've seen all day Tremendous Right then guys that's where we're going to get little mixed tent set up we'll get that done now in case anybody else comes and claims that spot Right folks, that's little mixed tents are up there. I'll set my gear up later. Because I'm gonna be down there under that rock. I'll set that up last thing just in case any more people come. I'll show you our drinks now a bit. So we've got some more cans of Coors, some Madri's. Some cheap whiskey, high commissioner. It's just a cheap war, but we'll still do a review in it later on. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. Food wise, snacks, Cornish pasty, little mix tucking into his now. We've got some peppered salami, chorizo for our meal tonight. We've got some Kevin and Perry rice, hot and spicy chicken, or a few sliced mushrooms in. We've got coffees, plenty of water. Biscuits from the morning, Mick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, guys, I think I'm going to enjoy one of these nice cans of Madri. A little schmick the roos bought. Bring you back in a minute. Right, guys, while little Mick's chilling out up there, having a can, I've just come down this pathway. I've seen on somebody else's video if you go down and round there's some like caves and that so I want to check that out it's a bit dangerous for little Mick this pathway so anyway I'll bring you back in a minute if I can make me way around see you in a minute Plus. Oh, 
fantastic. Oh. I tell you what, this would be a mint place to camp. Obviously, if there was a group of yous, like when I come away with the two cusses, three of us could easily go in here, have a little fire, cook some food, sitting with nice views out there. Fantastic. I think I can bring little Mick down here. The path wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Right, man, dingoes. I'm going to go back up to Mick. See if he wants to come down. Right. Right guys, I'll give you a little look at my sleeping quarters. There we go. I'll be snug as a bug tonight. I've just took um I've just put me get your words out, Chris. I've just put me backpack on top there because it was getting a bit breezy. And it looked like my sleeping bag was gonna blow away. But I there you go. I've got me Burghouse, self-inflating mat, got the foil underneath, OEX 200, it's just a really thin summer sleeping bag, my Trekology pillar, but I've also got, I brought my down jacket, my down slippers and my down trousers, because it will probably get a little bit nippy during the night. So I'll put them on before I get in, but I should be class. Get under here, I can make myself a nice hot drink. Looking forward to it. This is serious wild captain man dingoes. You know it makes sense. Right folks. Me and little Mick's making our way down them caves I was at earlier on. We're going to sit and chill. We'll have a can down there, mate. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll sit and have a nice can in the cave. Just for half an hour. And then we'll get back up. Maybe get some food on. Right, I'm going to turn this camera off because I need to watch me step. Ah. Oh. Aye, aye. Well done, Schmick.
Are you Bonnie Mac? Why? Why are you the spit of Brad Pitt? Why? Time's up, Mandingo. Waski time. You know what I'm talking about. Waski time, Mandingos. And this is what we've got this week. Nice and cheap and very nasty. High Commissioner. Blended Scotch Waski. Just a little bottle, £5.49. It'll do for me and you, Mick. Get that open. Our famous little cup for the world famous Blot Outdoor Show Waski Review. Oh, you know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. Right, Schmick. Get that in there. Oh, yes. Right. Let's get the old beak in it. Well, that's very grainy straight away, Mick. Very grainy and a little bit malt. You get your little schnoozle in there, Mandingo. Yes, I'll get that grainy in Get on. the grain. Right. The grain's very obvious. Really strong. And malt as well. Yeah, just very mild on the malt. And a little bit, a little bit smoky. A little bit buttery there after after a few sniffs like a nice little buttery smell dingo man it's smoky getting the smoky buttery. well not the buttery that is enough of the sniffing let's get on with the tasting right Now that's actually quite mild, quite soft for a cheap blended waski. Getting a nice little bit of caramel in that. I'm surprised. Such a bargain one is given a nice taste. Get the caramel. Definite. Definite get the caramel. Yeah. Like I say, it's nice and soft. It's going down very smooth. Not rough. Definitely not rough and smooth. <laughs> rough and smooth. <laughs> no, just nice and soft, Mick. And a little bit smoky, like a little bit burnt ash. It's not special. Smoky. For a cheap war, for a smoky, lad. For a cheap and video nasty, it's not bad. Aye. So I'm not going to slaver on too much, Mick. High commissioner. Very grainy in the smell. A little bit malt. What else did we see? And a little bit buttery smell. A taste. Surprisingly smooth. I'm getting a bit, little bit burnt ash in there. A definite bit caramel. We are, Mick. You finished that off. So I'm going to give that a very, very respectable seven out of ten. Now I did think beforehand it was going to get something low, like a four. So that's good. A very good seven for me. What about you, Dingo Man? Five out of ten. Five? Not one of your favourites? Oh. Nah. I've probably been a bit generous, like to be honest, seeing seven. Probably only a six, but I'm going to stick with it. Seven out of ten for me. Five for you. That's average of six. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. This is serious Waski Tearson. You know what makes sense. Right. <laughs> hey, fuck it up. We're getting worse. Right folks, it's 
bedtime now so I'm gonna get under this big rock get nice and snug this light on my camera is not very good I don't know if you can see I've got my down trousers on here and my down slippers and this nice warm jacket Let's get under you know what I'm talking about man dingoes whoops nearly bang my head oh this is proper cozy all righty anyway I'm gonna get me sleeping bag and I'm gonna get a nice coffee on get a nice warm drink in this far go to sleep I'm gonna stick a movie on. I've got something saved, I, I can't remember where it is. I'm gonna watch that, probably for 15, 20 minutes and I'll fall asleep. Right, Mandingos, I'll bring you back in a second. Right, folks, I'm all wrapped up now in my sleeping bag. What a fantastic night it's been. Absolutely loved it. The weather's been great. We're in a fantastic location here in Northumberland, sleeping here under this rock. What an amazing place to have a wild camp. We've had a nice few lagers, some whiskey. Me and Mick off camera, we've sat and we've had a good laugh. Listen to some good music, good, good times. I've had a couple of cans down in the cave. What more could you ask for? So guys, I'm gonna call it night. Morning guys. Five past seven. Ah, oh, slept really well. Wasn't cold at all. Absolutely class. Right, I think I'm gonna get up now. Get a coffee on. I'll have a coffee. I'll let Mick lie in for a bit longer and then I'll wake him up. See you in a minute. Awake. Hey! <laughs> All right, little dingo. Right. Do you want a coffee, mate? Oh, yeah. I'll get you a coffee on. I'm nearly packed up, mate. I had to, in case anyone turned up. Right, I'll get you a coffee on, mate. Okay. Bring it back in a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. There he's there, lad. Oi, oi! Nice and fresh, mate. Right. Good sleep. Certainly did. Class. This is the life, man, dingoes. This is better than waking up hungover because you've been out on the lash all weekend, all Saturday night. 
waking up on a Sunday morning, fresh, sitting having a coffee, with views like this. You cannot walk it, Mick? No. Little Mick knows where it's at. Lights are too. <laughs> So that's it folks, we're all packed up, that's where little Mick had his tent, leave no trace, Mick's got the bag of rubbish there, been a good one on it, been absolutely fantastic, 10 out of 10 for this trip, right then mate, we're going to make our way down the van, right. here we go, so guys, the usual shite here, really appreciate you watching, if you have enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you've already subscribed thank you very much and if you haven't you know what to do mandingo hit that button and subscribe to the bonnie lads on tour you know it makes sense out to see you mick before i see you chara right <laughs> <laughs> right guys i'll see you next time right Oh, uh, Mason. Oh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That's obvious. Fucking hell, Chris. Can you get your fucking words out? Start again. I'm gonna have a quick look. Right, I'm gonna put the camera away. And then um, I'll bring you back if I can make me way. Make me, fucking hell, I can't even talk properly. Make me, <laughs> start again, fuck's sake. Right guys, time for bed now. Oh, fuck's sake, man, I wear. Oh, that's fucking shit. Ha, ha, ha.